A good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Thomas. This is Ten Editor Human, and welcome to Rome Total War: The Rebel Campaign. We are back. I think this is episode three now, and we have just taken Rhodes and Pergamum, have we not? Um, I've had a little ponder, and I think I think I'm going to sally forth on these chaps because they they're not building any siege equipment. And that's just going to drain us down. I think, I reckon, we can play clever enough game against these chaps we're gonna give them a poke once we've done that we're definitely gonna try and focus over in the east here because we have have here some forces now we are we are building up some new ones over here we need to change stuff to hot lights don't we definitely um we are building some units we just send them over as we get them but we need to try and unify these two packs because there's lots of good experience there and the Egyptians are very quickly going to get too powerful for us, so we need to pounce, get these two unified, take Jerusalem, take Sidon, really cripple the early Egyptian power. And hopefully over here, these new guys that have just popped up, and whatever we're training in these two towns, nothing here at the moment. I'm just going to actually get a governor's house, just, just because a bit of... Um, yeah. Some troops here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Oh, I can get peasants. Maybe I'll hold off. I'll hold off. But whatever we get around here and whatever pops up, we'll just try and hold off an Egyptian advance here whilst we take care of them up in well, the eastern Mediterranean, I suppose. Um, lovely. Oh, we've got a little ship here. Worth we'll a scout, actually, while we're about. Tarsus over here. Not very many troops in there. Let's have a look at Antioch. Not many in there either. Well, when you have to said army over there, I mean, there's a few in Hatra. We haven't yet got to Seleucia. Okay. Well, either way, oh, well, there is actually a fleet there. Okay. Uh, let's just nip around the corner for now. Let's get out of this and go back around the other way. Hopefully these boats can't reach. They almost certainly can, but if we lose that ship, it isn't much of a worry. It's just a bit of a scout, really. Okay. Ready to sail. Worth being in mind the Macedonians have some ships. Either way, we are going to pounce in on their units before we lose our strength. We're going to lose Nick and Medio, but I'm not too worried about that. Right, so they have militia hoplites, who are, I believe, the same as ours. Can't actually check. Apart from the experience, they've got some experience, which is definitely worth bearing in mind. They could very easily wipe us apart here. Um, I'm just going to hope that they don't use these Macedonian cavalry, who are really good, by the way. I hope they don't use them very well. But we do have the spears. We've got to use our pale tests well. But we'll give them a poke. Hopefully a big poke with a long pointy stick. Okay, end deployment and oh, right. Okay, this is a hill. A hill and a half. Okay. Well, yeah, I remember doing battles here before. Now, Rome to War, for some reason, they do, if they don't want to actually attack you, they do tend to just run off in this direction. A lot of the time, the AI seems to do that. I'm not really sure why. There's a good chance they'll do that again. I mean, if I were them, I'd just run up the hill. They probably won't. They'll probably run up to the smaller hill because they like to run to that side of the map. God knows why. They'll probably do the same thing again. Just in case they don't, we'll put our pell tests up here to begin with. We'll send out our hot lights. That actually will get them lined up at the gate. Ready to march out. Okay, what are they doing? They're, run <laughs> They're running off to that side of the map, just as they always seem to. Um, okay, they are moving quite slowly. Maybe we can catch them out of position. Units. Let's have a little go here. Let's run out. Units. Just on the general behind. I just don't want to lose the general. I know he's in a random bloke, but Ooh, we can definitely throw some javelins into them. Especially if their cavalry is going to run off like that. Oh, this is this might be an opportunity actually. 
Might just be an opportunity here. Push the pelt test white on the wall now. Right, general, just pull up over here. Pelt tests. Off skirmish. It's probably not going to matter. You guys kind of just corner. Corner us off. Where are my pal tests? Guys, you need to be out here now. Right now. You might miss opportunity. Where the devil are you? Don't wait. Run. Oh, I'm way too late now. Okay, well. There, they've got their spears up and they're just running now. Oh. Okay, they're just rearranging. They're fine. Guys, you're way too late. You missed the party. We have to do this the hard way now. Okay. Okay, well, at least start creeping up this hill. Okay. Think we're about as good a position as we're going to get with this. It's really much of a hill for us, but I think this is what I have to do. Right, let's just send us skirmishers. Ideally, we'd like to hit him in the back, but to be honest, as long as there's cavalry there, I can't do anything of the sort. If they were clever, they'd run through these gaps. There's three of them, just split, flee, and never to be when you need to. Okay, throw your javelins, guys. Let's see if you can lure them in a bit. It's downhill, so. We're being attacked! Thing near enough. Okay. Right. Let's just keep teasing towards them. This is such a tense standoff. My point of view. I mean, we are slightly uphill. Not almost, not at all. But okay, the cavalry's doing something. Just making them worried. It's probably because I slightly flanked them on that side. Quite know what they want to do yet. I just want to keep slight, a uh, slight angle on this side. It's better to catch any cavalry. See if we can just get lucky for javelin on the general. Come on, why not? Throwing him down the hill. Okay, we've got a few. <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. Um, <clears throat> don't really like that, to be honest with you guys. Don't really like that at all. Quite a lot there. It's a good little, good volley that one. Okay, this is just getting messy. Oh, 
<laughs> Such an awkward, awkward standoff. Let's just see what happens. Okay, good. We got them at the angle. The rest didn't step forward. Got one unit out of position, and they're kind of somewhat out of it. Yes, we've. Right, we've got the cavalry into the spears now. Let's just get the peltas around the side. Just to be sure that that's all right. Right, now let's suddenly walk these guys. Let's suddenly walk these guys into them. You move there. Like you move there. Like you move there. Forward. Let's go, guys. Oh, good. We've got them fleeing. We've got some cab fleeing. Perfect. Right. We're going to stop pincering them. Get your pikes down, lads. Get your pikes down. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Tiny bit of tiny bit flanking here. Flanking. No, nope, they're running anyway. They're running anyway. Don't need the extra flank here, but we'll just. Just in case. Okay, let's try and encircle. God be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of There we are, heroic this victory! Roman have triumphed to save her! Roman arms have crushed the enemy! Woo! Roman arms! Definitely not Greek phalanxes. Hmm. That was a very tiny victory. Tiny bit of cavalry, four hop how did they get away really? Right, well, Macedonian Cavalry, 51 of them escape. Perfect. Okay, that was a very tidy, tidy little victory. Pretty much time to end my turn at this point, though, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, actually, I'm just going to do a little bit of admin, actually. It's been a tiny bit of time since I was here last. Ah, a bit, oh, there are some troops, so send these up for the mountains. Don't know what we're going to do with these guys, but if you get enough... Can't do much by themselves, but if they get enough, we might do something. They're just blockading the Caspian. Um gonna lose Nicomedia. Yeah, I feel like they're a bit isolated up here. I'm, I'm gonna send these guys up to home sweet home. Just get them a little bit more convened together. It's gonna be much harder than the barbarian and the places. But if we've got these Amazon chariots, might as well use them. Use that as a little uh, gathering hub up at home, sweet home. We'll just mop up all the rebels that pop up. And if we can get them round safely to one place, then we'll 
get a big army. Very beautiful. Okay, let's end our turn. And there's the Comedia. Oh, ah! Oh, okay, well, to be honest, I probably would have lost that force anyway. Um, probably just saved a few units, in fairness. Okay, the ghouls around Lugdunum. Possibly going to lose that soon. It's not the worst town in the world, to be honest with you, but I'm going to concentrate on one thing at a time. Marseille has got itself a barracks. That is helpful. Oh, it is Greek. Perfect. At least that makes sense. It should be Greek. We can definitely hold on to this then. Right, we want you to grow and we want some walls. So, Love Shrine, that will be population growth. Tradable goods. Let's go for the pop growth. We need to worry about public order. So, Sir Jessica, likewise, we need your pop growth. Farming, light weapons, just happiness. I have no idea where they lead, so I don't even know if I'm really investing long term. Athens, your trader. Oh, market. Spies. We want spies. If we can start to inflict rebellions from the AI, we will flip cities and just gain masses. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, Halakarnassus. Likewise, um, uh, the road, to be honest, is only to there. It's not going to make a huge difference. Might in terms of trade, though. Nope, none at all. Tiny bit of trade. We actually lose more from corruption if we do that, weirdly. It's bizarre. Hunting Shrine, Missile Weapons, Food Production, Hunting Shrine, Farming Shrine. They're very random and generic, aren't they? Bizarre. I've seen that before. Sardis, 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 Sardis. Ooh, mines. Are they good mines? They are mine mines. Okay, likewise, we'll get the growth first. Jupiter, Love Shrine, Mercury, Victory. Let's look at the love shrine because I frankly have no idea how <laughs> how any of these things will actually work because I'm not sure about the building browser it should work maybe I'll try over here because we're a bit bigger maybe I'll try like victory because there are some bonkersly good things on that tree if I remember right I can't quite recall let's have a look at the building browser see what it tells me it says nothing about the temples here Tell you what, let's go for victory. We're already a bit bigger here. We'll see what happens at the next level of town. Occupied, occupied, occupied. However, our forces can definitely go and take that back. Meanwhile, we need to be pumping troops out of these towns. And I know I'm trying to get population up. That's slightly counterproductive. But... We'll just keep the rate going up. We need early troops. Early hoplites can definitely do the job that we need to be done. Okay. Perfect. Cadonia. You are about to get a barracks. That's good. Okay. Let's get in somewhere. We've got a little scout there in the forest. Hopefully we won't get caught out. Some peasants. Very unlikely they'll ever make it down. But if they do, it's it's a few more blokes, isn't it? Right. Bit of admin. Bit of admin. Amazon women wandering around. What's worth as the rebels? Just having it scout around and seeing if any new units have popped up. It's quite easy at this stage because you'll see the fog disappear. Um, yes, yeah, so I can see this bit here. It's just one pack of peasants. I might try and get them into this re... Oh, that's unfortunate. My troops aren't going to get there in time. If I can get them into that region, then I can disband them at least with population. I think I'm going to be too late. I'm not going to be able to hold out, am I? No. I'd rather send them out. They're going to take that from me anyway. I can't do much to defend it. Let's get units together if possible first and foremost okay ooh oh, I was hoping that was really force but it's just just a pirate ship albeit let's not get too sniffy about just a pirate ship let's just blockade them it probably does nothing because the computer's cheating anyway but it's fine 
Okay, what we do need to do... Uh, I'm, I don't quite know. I want to send this force to go and just kill Pontus, to be honest with you. I think we need to try and hold out here and use this force to come over to Greece. Yes, that is what we were doing, wasn't it? Perfect. Yeah. Let's just mash those guys together. They can retrain. To be honest, you'll have to retrain in Athens, if I'm honest with you. They can't quite make it. That's a real shame, because it's slightly dangerous. Get it into port. Because they should be safe on port. in port. Okay. There we are, roads. And no units there. Okay. We, we could do with some more ships in fairness, to be fair. I need to, to be honest, this one. Fleet ready. It would probably help if I bring Take it over this way. Out of moves, sir. Greek Navy. Greeks are nearly dead anyway. Right. Let's get you towards Petra. No Egyptians around here. Okay, there are here though. Um, worth bearing in mind. Mm, do I want to? I want God. Oh, Zoroastrianism. Oh, it is Zoroastra. Perfect. Very nice. I like Zoroastrianism. It's really intriguing. What would I like here? I, I'm not going to invest too much in Palmyra straight away, to be honest with you. Damascus, however. I think I'll get it. You know what? Actually, no, I'm going to get a road. Because I'm going to be sending troops through here. A road would help. Right, if you want. Oh! Okay. Wow, what, what an ambush. That's, you know what? I think we're going to slaughter them. We are. Oh, I don't want to take these on if I'm going to lose any units. But I will take on these guys on my way over to convene with these troops. And to be honest with you. It's got general. I can probably use this to just hold off any little scouting Egyptian parties. Perfect. Okay. Okay, they're just gonna wander into the Armenian foothills. Oh. They're gonna wander straight into the Pontic cataphracts. So they're gonna be royally dead. Got it. Um, yeah, let's ignore that. Right. What else has popped up? Anything interesting? Um, yeah. Oh, some chariots. That's beautiful. Don't think I can take that without the infantry, unfortunately. Faction air. It's going to be a big unit. I don't think I can do that. I might get lucky, but... I don't think I can. Onward. Bit of a scout, though. Not, not going to harm me. Okay, let's just stand on the bridge. Oh, I don't have any infantry to guard the bridge. That's a shame. Let's just wander down here. Try and keep an eye on the cities. I, we've got a bit of a... We can do something to defend if we need to. But at the moment I can't reconvene them. They might be able to help us later. Let's just get straight to unifying with them, to be honest with you. I don't know what's around Jerusalem. Well, I'd have a little peek now, but... I don't want to get caught out. I just want to get these guys unified first. Then... Then we can think about taking them on. Let's hope I don't miss my opportunity by doing that. Ah! You can make it over to them. Which I suggest means you can. Perfect. Okay, getting a nice big force here. Big stack early in the game that's going to suit us very, very nicely. Hmm. Nothing in Spain, or France, or Britain. Oh. They've landed. Well, we'll see what we can do. We've got some experience. We've got some druids. I do love druids. I'd love a sickle. Um, they might struggle to take that from us, in fairness. Okay. Right, I think we're just about ready to end our turn. Perfect. Uh, 
Ah, caught out. Yeah, we're gone. That's a shame. Okay, might not be able to unify because we're now under siege. And we lost to Martha, but you know what? I'm not worried. I don't think. <laughs> I don't even. Yeah, we, we might struggle. I'm just going to let them win. We killed 12 people. Well done, Jeffrey. Good work. We have wolves, they can't attack straight away. Blink them. And so begins the mass extermination of our settlement. We're down to 26 from 30. I'd say it's been a good start. Under normal circumstances, it'd probably be horrendous. Um, occupied Quinkum. Siege Tara. Are they actually building siege equipment? No, they're not. That is annoying. Because frankly, I don't want to come out and attack them, but I don't think they can take it if they try. Bullish Horn. Just wait for that to die. Okay, we do something with this this army, though. So onto the Isthmus, guys. Let's leave one unit in there. Well, I say that, we're just going to train a new one anyway, so. Let's send them all together. And we can actually besiege Corinth now. Which is quite tempting. Yeah, go on. Well, I'll leave that to the end of the turn. I'll leave it to the end. Just in case I change my mind, but that's pretty tempting, I must say. Okay. Sardis. We now have a we never spy but don't have a boat. Perfect. Um we are starting to run out of money. We are starting to run out of money. Imperator. Yep. Besieging the Commedia. Free rams next turn. They might attack, but to be honest, that suits me. I don't really fancy a full on attacking siege. I don't like to attack in a siege. You can go there. Meet up with. Meet up with those three units. Perfect. And just start to move forward. Okay, okay. Byzantium, you need to continue building those. I can't afford to get the market now. That's the thing, I need to get some of these. Spies out early doors. There's actually why Rhodes is a good. Yeah, Rhodes needs to. Because if I run out of money, I'm stuck with the spies I've got. I won't be able to get any more if I end up ruining my money. 25. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't like the lack of vision. I can't put down any watchtowers. You do get to a point with the rebels where some random generals start appearing like proper family members. Like at the moment, I didn't really point this out at the beginning. We have no family members. We have no family tree. Um, don't, don't just break the game. No, don't break the game. We're fine. Um, there's no Senate up here. I think when you play as the Roman Senate, if you click on the Senate tab, it breaks the game. Which I, I guess kind of makes sense. It's a bit meta, really, isn't it? Uh, finances. Yeah, we're not doing great anymore. But to be honest, because I've got a lot of troops. A lot of troops. About to lose a chunk over here. Ah, oh. This is a bit annoying, to be honest. Okay. They don't have any siege equipment. They can't attack this time. We've got them together. We can get to them next turn. We can take them out. But they've got a big force too. Which is worrying. We just built the road, can't get round to help. We'll send them round that way. That might do enough. Can this general... No, he can't build a tower because he's not an official family member. That's a shame. Okay, what about down here? 
I've still got that, those chaps over there. If we got a boat in this sea, then we'd find the one use for it in history, which is to escape Egypt. Tell you that escaping Egypt is tricky. Um, we we'll just stay down here for the moment, keep an eye on things, wait for some more rebels to pop up. Yeah, Damascus is a bit worrying. Let's just hope this these forces are going to be enough because if I can win this and then start sweeping these up I will be able to sweep through Egypt. If I lose I have completely ruined the eastern campaigns. Um, Bithynian rebels, that's me, that is Bithynia after all, indeed it is. Pliny sent some intriguing letters from there. Okay it is basically the end of the turn, you know what I am going to attack Corinth because why not. Sounds fun. There we go. That will do. Let's take Corinth. Wait, where can the cav get to? Okay, one more thing before we go. Can we hold on to Epsis Magna? I think so. I think so. Let's give it a go. Not too worried about Lepsis Magna, but we'll give it a try. Ugh, stop knees. Okay. So are they going to be on top of that hill? I imagine they are. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I'm realising I'm on the business now. Ah. of what they want to do here, which suits us very well. There's not much more I can do now and just throw myself in. Oh, I won! Yay! The Emily and Javi men are fleet. the kings. Unlike these absolutely useless town militia. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. They should have made the Indian cavalry better on this game, though, because they've got a pretty damn good rep when you like read the ancient text. Like, you know, they're supposed to be like run forever, they just brutally kill you with their javelins, run off. You know, a bit like the arch cavalry of the Persians. Like, they're good, like 8, 11, 10 is a too experienced, bear in mind, but you know, it'd be nice if there was something a little bit more somewhat brutal version, but they didn't give the Numidians very much when you try and play as them. They're pretty rubbish. Such a victory. There we are. The day is ours. The day is ours indeed, squeaking the Raider man. The victory. It didn't wasn't that clear to be honest when they are in <laughs> my entire set of infantry all routed instantly. However, we do have Lipsis Magna. It is back. 
So that's something. Fleet ready. That indeed is something. Perfect. Right, that's not too shabby. That went well. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to do before the end of this turn. I have no idea what it was anymore. Oh yeah, I definitely wanted to think about these guys because we know there's a Persian army around. Let's wander down here. We stand on the river. River crossing makes sense. We've got infantry and some archers, so, you know, bridge battle is probably the best holdout spot for them. Okay, there is some Egyptian force. Let's go and just take care of that unit. Petra, Eastern Infantry, Bostra, can't do anything. Great, that's the end of my money. Um, I think this time just a little bit more in this episode, just a little bit more. I've got the Siege of Nicomedia coming up and the Siege of Corinth next time coming up. But I think we'll just end our turn, see what happens. Okay, two spearmen, one chav. I mean, they have infantry and we don't. So, could be interesting. I guess we'll end the episode on this then. There stands the army of the Egyptian pharaoh, worthy foes to a man. Ooh, chariots. Beautiful, beautiful scythe chariots. Oh, I didn't know they were going to be scythe. That's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Lovely pharaoh's guard armour. Beautiful. What are their actual stats like? As well, I oh, wonder defend. Uh, despite the armor, just gonna chop down. Twelve attack, six charge bonus. We've got a well. I must say, I have not used very many of the um, of these particular type. I mean, everyone else gets a huge hill, and I get this this rubbish plane. I mean, I'm in Egypt. But, you know, what do you expect? Um. Yeah, I've, I haven't used many chariots in this game, if I'm honest with you. With my brother playing a Seleucid and just having 19 chariots and a general in his army was amazingly effective. Not that surprisingly effective, because it, I'm not surprised at how effective it was, but it was quite amazing. Spectacular, to say the least. Well, they can tire themselves out a bit to come to us. Let's just slaughter them, get the morale already awful. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Come on, chariots, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. So get out of there. Let's charge down the man. Chariots. Skirmishes run them down. Ooh. I don't want to really get stuck in that battle, to be honest, chariot. I'm going to pull out. Oh, you've the general in there, do you? The fire would be too bad. Them anymore. I'm in German, these guys. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the destroy them field like a coward. Oh, there's the Liga. Smash them. No idea what's happening over here. Skirmish mode is just doing its job, I think. Oh, they might. 
gods be praised. They might be panicking now. Enemy general is dead. I know that's fine. It's fine. Doom approaches. Stop shaking. Stop being shaken. Where are you? Chariots just do everything. Oof, javelins into the back and they are broken. Scythe them down. <laughs> Just slice off all those legs. Leg of Egyptian for dinner tonight, lads. They want to think that we're mental ravenous peasants. Well, we will be mental ravenous rebel peasants if they want us to be. We just set our own men on fire. God be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Cease fire. Uh, well, that went really well. Some brutal, brutal chariots. We've only lost a few men, actually. I think we lost one chariot, about five javelin men. So that's pretty tidy. I told you to stop shooting! We've already shot... Most of those men have been... Yeah, panicked by the fire from our own archers. Ruddy Laura, and we've won the battle already. 1% dead. This is a heroic... Heroic victory. There we are. Three kills. I lost a few more. See, look. You burnt them to death, chaps. You burnt our skirmishes to death. Rubbish. Our skirmishes did well, though. Victory and glory! Victory and glory! Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Siege of Nicomedia. I think this is where we leave it for now. Next time, then, ladies and gentlemen, the Siege of Nicomedia. They are coming to attack us. In fact... It is, hmm, Franus is himself. Interesting, interesting. Franus is himself has come along their faction leader of the Pontics. We can slaughter them nice and early days. Bit of a random time for the music to <laughs> restart again. It must be a sign the oracles are spoken. Obviously, we are destined to win here in this Battle of Nicomedia. Um, beautiful. Okay, well, next time we'll get on with that. They have some Pontic Heavy Cavalry. Oh, I love those guys. They're very cool. A bit of a selection. But to be honest, we have a lot of infantry, a lot of hoplites. Snake of Fanatics have some quick light infantry to get around the sides. They do have some cavalry. But we have some Cretan up. Well, we have one pack of Cretan archers. Which can pick them off from a distance. If we need to deal with those Pontic Light Cavalry. Which I think is going to have to be the way. And the heavy ones, for that matter. So. Watch out for the cav. Next time, we'll be jumping straight into that battle where Captain Noresus will make his name as he defeats the Pontic faction leader. So, this has been Rome Total War. I am Thomas. This is Tenez de Human. Thank you and good night.